since wala tayong choice and we want to work right now and open up the economy, rather than nothing, magpa-inject tayo ngayon ng Sinovac and Astra. I'm Dr. Tony Liachan. I'm a internist and a cardiologist working at the Manila Doctors Hospital. I was a past advisor of the National Task Force uh, versus COVID. The reason why we have a high vaccine hesitancy, yung ayaw ng tao magpabakuna, based on the survey, ng Pulse Asia survey and other survey, a main concern nila with vaccination is safety, right? So therefore, if you have multiple choices of vaccines registered and marketed abroad, then the Filipinos will be able to choose the vaccines and that will actually increase their vaccine acceptability. Yun ang gusto natin. But so far, we have only two uh, vaccines in the, uh, in the Philippines, but these are basically donations. So if you have the Sinovac, uh, 600,000, that's good for 300,000 people. And then you have 500,000 for Astra. So if you have, that's only half a million, but we need to achieve 70 million. So, ang importante dito, mapadating na natin yung ibang mga bakuna para sa ganun, mabilis na natin magkaroon ng herd immunity and then open up the economy. Um, that's okay kasi uh, there's a minimum, there's a minimum requirement kasi eh. There's a minimum requirement for by the FDA. Ang minimum requirement is 50%. Eh. Um, nagkataon lang before the re revelation of the mRNA vaccine na Pfizer and Moderna. Nagkataon lang sinuwerte tayo na 95%, no? So, what we're saying, before no, no mga July of last year, ang prediction lang ng FDA and the WHO basta maka 50% efficacy rate Okay na eh. All of these vaccines are developed with certain attributes but it depends upon your choice. But since wala tayong choice and we want to work right now and open up the economy, rather than nothing, magpa-inject tayo ngayon ng Sinovac and Astra. That's my point. And then, try to work on the other vaccines to be here in the country as soon as possible. Na ako naman, I have no reason to object why you should not use Sinovac because uh, it has been approved by the FDA. And the FDA, we must respect and honor because it's the highest regulatory agency. Number two, there are 11 countries that have launched Sinovac. That's uh, Brazil, Chile, Thailand, Indonesia, Philippines, Hong Kong. And these are actually good countries. no? But of course, yung Pfizer and Moderna being a R&D company, in Boom Europe, uh, America, uh, more than 50 countries, because of their track record. But it doesn't mean if you're a Chinese vaccine, eh, hindi effective. Hindi naman. It's just that at this point in time, first time natin na uh, makakita ng vaccines coming out of countries like China and Russia, di ba? But all of these vaccines are effective pagka lalo na na-evaluate ng FDA natin. You're introducing kasi a small amount of the virus inside, di ba? Or a synthetic version, eh, di ba? So, you will feel parang meron ka rin konting COVID. But kung, kung hindi yan bakuna na small and nabigyan ka ng high viral load, siyempre may sakit ka, papasok sa hospital. But since you're given only a small one, kayang-kayang talunin niya ng antibody mo. So, you develop lang a small um, minor pain here. And then you develop a low-grade fever, and then perhaps a chilly sensation, and then uh, body weakness, malay. But it means it works. Pagkada karong ka ng ganon, and then it will disappear the next day, and then you're okay. So, ang ibig sabihin, napaka minimum ng side effects. For one and two, you cannot do mix and match. Consistent lang isa lang. But for a booster dose, ibig sabihin ng booster dose, mga ngailangan ka after one year kung bawa ba yung antibody response mo, 
you can pick a different one. Yun ang dumalabas sa research. But for today, if you were started with Sinovac, you cannot use Astra. You have to use Sinovac pa rin. If you start with Astra, then you have to finish with Astra. Pero yung booster dose, pwede ng ibang vaccines ang gamitin. Now, kung makakapagbakuna tayo ng June, July, hindi, yung yung kasi ngayon, trickles, eh, only 500,000, eh, di ba? Uh, you cannot move the needle by by that, eh. I think, for healthcare workers, eh. But if you want the, the population na 70%, we need to do that by June or July. So, ang projection ko would be um, 2022, before the end of the term of the president, we'll, we'll have it. One year. One year. Kunyari from Ju July, June, July of 2021. Uh, we're not the US na six months kaya yung gawin. So, ang tingin ko, doblehin natin. Mga one year. So, before the end of the term of the president, meron na tayong herd immunity. And then, ma-open natin na economy by that time. Ang vaccines were very important to finally end the pandemic because we want that everyone mabakunahan to achieve the herd immunity na gusto natin. Ang worst decision is not to be vaccinated. Kasi forever, you will be there na nagmamas, nag face shield, and social distancing at hindi ka protected. And you will not be able to protect your family as well. And you cannot go back to work with confidence. And you cannot contribute to society. It is the biggest public health initiative in our history and in the world. So don't lose the chance to be of relevance in this particular time and age. Help us help people understand the world better. Subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get notified on our new videos.